Donald Trump is saying that he's going to be indicted on Tuesday. He's calling for people to protest. Now, we, we don't know if that's true. Um, the Manhattan DA has not said anything about it. Uh, but he's calling for people to protest. Uh, is that irresponsible? Well, first, let me say I'm, I'm taken aback at the idea of indicting a former president of the United States um, at, a, at a time when there's a crime wave in New York City that the fact that the Manhattan DA thinks uh, that uh, indicting President Trump is his top priority, I think, is just tells you everything you need to know about the radical left in this country. It's a, the last five years, the Democrats have been dismantling uh, tough criminal justice in the city of New York. Families are paying the price, and yet this is what we get. It just feels like a politically charged prosecution here. Uh, and I, for my part, of I just feel like it's just not what the American people want to see. But he's calling on people to protest, to come out and protest, take our nation back. We know what happened the last time he said that. Well, John, the American people have a constitutional right to peaceably assemble. Absolutely, but, but, but to have a former president calling on people to protest a, 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 a justice proceeding. The frustration the American people feel about what they sense is a two-tier justice system in this country, mm -hmm. I think, I think is well-founded. Uh, but I, I, and I, I believe that uh, people understand that if they give voice to this, if this occurs on Tuesday, that they need to do so peacefully and in a lawful manner, uh, that uh, the violence that occurred on January 6th, the violence that occurred in cities throughout this country in the summer of 2020 was a disgrace. The American people won't tolerate it, and those that engage in that kind of violence uh, should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law.